and I will say our reference department, without them, with their involvement in terms of scheduling, in terms of learning the 3D printer and troubleshooting, because literally, if you're eight, you can be alone in our makerspace. And, but if you're eight and you run into a problem, what do you do? Well, in the first year, you, found, you went to the reference department. With the IRLS grant, we were able to hire um, two 19-hour weeks. Now, I'm leaving this Friday. The beauty of what's happened with IMLS is we have to demonstrate that, you know, how are you going to make this continue? And $40,000 was added as a line item because there was no line item for Makerspace, but it was added. And now with that $40,000, we can continue to pay our two 19-hour a week. The person who was in charge of uh, managing digital experience has now, he's managing the Makerspace. So you're, a lot of staff step up I don't know how big your library is, but you, you know, we have probably five staff. Our teen librarian couldn't be more involved. She runs Maker Mondays. She's all about making. Oh, we had a, a this, I would recommend this if you could do it. We had an uh, overnight Maker Madness. Oh. On um, the day, the, the clocks changed in March, right? Mm -hmm. So we planned it for that night. It was called March Midnight Maker Madness. We had 20 volunteers. There are so many people interested in help. This goes to your question about staffing and surrogate librarians. Um, and we did it from 8 o'clock till 8 o'clock in the morning. We had a drum circle at 2, which is when the, was when the clocks turned forward. So through the magic of the celestial gift of daylight savings, um, we started at 2, went for an hour, and it was 4 o'clock. We had drawing workshops, video workshops, belt making workshops, Arduino workshops, set making workshops, because we created a set for the, for the drum circle. So anyway, a midnight maker, going overnight making is really, and we wanted it not just for kids, but for adults. So we had a good mixture. Bill, would yes. you repeat oh, the sorry. question? Repeat the question as they Okay, ask, I will, yes. Congratulations on your upcoming retirement. And my question is, are you going to continue to consult for that library? And would you be available for future consulting with libraries who are in the process of designing maker spaces. Well, the question, answer. Question. Say the the question. question was, would you be available for consulting after you leave the library? And um, I'm hibernating for a couple of months <laughs> because it's just it's you know we all have our rhythms and our patterns, and my pattern is I get filled and with a vacuum, creating a vacuum sort of allows you to see clearly what might come next, and I, I would think that I would. I'm very interested in continuing with this, but it will be after a couple of months. Yes? Are there things that you tell people they cannot uh, print, like guns or anything like that? Okay, the question was, are there things that you tell people they can't print, like guns? Wow, did you ever hit a really, especially, <laughs> oh, okay. I was in an article for this uh, Waterbury American. I, I'm making it the library, it's just a simple article. I did not know that your image in an in AP, um, it becomes fodder. You can just pick it up like Google Images. So there was this article, libraries print, um, the question of libraries printing guns. And on the front page of this article, which was syndicated, was my picture <laughs> from this article that had nothing to do with that. So we really moved very quickly into how are we going to respond to this. Do we need new policies? Okay. And so we looked at our existing policy. And basically, we don't have filters in our library. Pornography is a possibility. If someone is uncomfortable, we do deal with it. Um, we feel like the issue of comfort is in our policy, that if people feel uncomfortable, so we have not posted or said what we will or will not print. We're taking it um, situation by situation, but if, People are going to feel uncomfortable with printing guns in the library. So, but we, we had one request to print out a gun over the phone. And we said that we weren't going to uh, print out guns. But we haven't had the issue raised again. But we think our current policies, we think our current policies cover, um, because there's lots of other things besides guns that people would be uncomfortable with. Thanks again very much. Thank